to last night's playoff game between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. An angel in the outfield reached out to catch a fly ball. In a controversial ruling, the play was ruled a home run, and the game went into extra innings. Jim Gray of NBC Sports was on the scene, and this morning he joins us with more on this play. Where were you when this ball was hit? Where were you on the field? Well, I was in the uh, dugout. In fact, I was in the Orioles portion of the end of the dugout. <laughs> place to near be. our camera well, so uh, I had the same vantage point as many of the Orioles. All right, describe it for us. We're going to take a look at the play again. Bottom of the eighth, Derek Jeter's the batter. What happened? Well, he hit the ball, and it looked like a, just a long fly ball, and it seemingly was carrying, and Tarasco went back, and he really didn't make much of an attempt. And then you saw a glove come over, and from where I was, it looked as though it was a home run because the ball disappeared. Uh, didn't look like the controversy that, it, that ensued. All right, now on a tighter replay sometime, you can see that this young 12-year-old had his baseball glove on. What is exactly the ruling on this? What's the rule in the baseball rule book? What can a, a fan do and what can't a fan do? Well, you cannot reach over and interfere with play in any manner, and that's what the young man has done. now. He's a 12-year-old kid. He's exuberant. It's a, it's a Norman Mailer photo. I mean, Norman Mailer, Norman Rockwell uh, <laughs> photo. And uh, every kid comes to the ballpark with a glove. And I don't think he was trying to interrupt play. Saw the ball coming and made an attempt. And unfortunately, he interfered with the game. But, but the kid we, was just being a kid. But we should also say he didn't actually hit the outfielder's glove. He just reached out and, and probably thought it was his fair, fair grab. I'm sure he did think that it was his fair grab. He saw that ball coming, and he was, he was going to try and catch it. Unfortunately, he didn't even get to keep the ball. He dropped the ball, and somebody else, as you can see, picked it up and ran off with it. I know last night you had a chance to talk to the 12-year-old. Let's hear a portion of what you had to say to Jeff Mayer. Here in the outfield, can you tell us what you did? What's your name, son? Jeff Mayer. Jeff, you stuck your mitt over, caught the ball. It's, it's the difference in the game right now. Wow, it's, it's pretty unbelievable, and I didn't think it would ever happen to me. You didn't get to keep the ball. You lost the ball, didn't you? Yes, unfortunately. What's going through your mind right now? You're the hero of all of New York and to the Yankees. You weren't even involved in the game. Now, all of a sudden, you've had such a big impact. It's, it's just unbelievable, and I, I feel like just like something amazing has happened. I can't really think of anything much else to say. They're chanting your name. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to... All right, well, let's be realistic here, right? Jeff Mayer is a hero in New York this morning. Headlines in the paper, kid glove, angel in the outfield. But if that ball had been hit by a Baltimore Oriole, this kid would be in the witness protection program <laughs> right now, wouldn't he? Absolutely. In fact, I hope he's not planning any trips down to Baltimore because uh, as exuberant and as excited as the fans in New York feel, uh, the people in Baltimore are going to be awfully, awfully upset. Mayor Rudolph Giuliani, you were at the game last night. Where were your seats and what did it look like well, to I you? I was behind the Yankees. Like, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> That's right, because it goes down the right sure, field looked, line. You it, had to crane your neck. I uh, stood up, looked in the corner. Uh, Looked like a home run. I didn't see the glove. I didn't see the, the, the kid. I didn't see it until after the game was over. Actually, uh, we saw the replay of it, and you realized, you realized what had happened. Oh, well, no, you did see the, real, the replay. What do you think? What, what should the call have been? Well, I think the umpire actually described it afterwards. He said he didn't see the, he didn't see the, the uh, interference. Had he seen it, he would, have, he would not have called it an out, because in his judgment, he could not say that the guy was going to catch the ball. He would have called it a ground rule single, double, triple, whatever. I guess it would have been a ground rule double. And I think, you know, of course, I'm biased here. I'm a Yankee fan. I would have taken that. The Yan Yankees were going to win this game no matter what. I mean, so, they've done it three, four times And isn't that the most row. important thing? We knew the Yanks would win eventually. It was yeah. just a question of whether they Absolutely. tied it in the eighth and went on to win it in extra innings. And you should be showing Bernie Williams' home run, home run that nobody interfered with. <laughs> now, I don't know that the people in Baltimore are going to think that, uh, that you were going to win the game or the Yankees were going to win the game anyway. It's very difficult to find a vocal Baltimore Orioles fan, but we have scoured the area. <laughs> and we have actually come up with our very own Tim Russer. Tim? Matt, Things that we can you. say on TV, first of all. What would you like to comment? Uh, first of all, here's the mayor of New York. I saw nothing. <laughs> uh, I like that New York attitude. Let me tell you, he has gone around this country talking about the drop in the crime rate in New York, the mugging last night in the Bronx. You are sitting next to the most permissive mayor in New York. Let me tell you what happened. A kid skipped school. A truant. That's a crime. Number two, he was in an exit way next to that railing. Number three, he reached down. Matt, look at even in New York, 
in the law of gravity works. The ball goes down. It doesn't bounce up. Hey, wait, wait. And, then, and then, Matt, the kid gets the ball stolen from him. A quintessential New York night. Trade those pinstripes for gel stripes. All right, you Tim. guys ought to be ashamed of yourself. Wait a second now. now we you, was robbed. You've got great seats at Camden Yards. Are you going to invite 12 year old Jeff Mayer down for the next for the game three? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? I want Andrew Giuliani next to me. Let me tell you. I'll teach him how to put a nose hat on him. Let me ask the mayor a question, Matt. Go seriously. Ahead. If he lost the next election by one vote and he found out that Ed Koch voted twice, would he contest that election? Can you hear him? No, I can't hear him. Oh, Tim said if you, if you, by some horrible circumstance, lost the next election by one vote and you found out that Ed Koch voted twice, would you contest the election? <laughs> sure, Baltimore has a right to protest. I'll let him protest. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not entirely true. They, 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 I guess they have the right to protest. Uh, Davy Johnson saying he's protesting because right. of security, but you yeah. cannot protest the judgment of an official. You can protest the misinterpretation of the rules, but this was just a judgment call made Matt, by Richie Matt, Garcia, so there's really yeah, no protest. It's, it's Matt, one of those things Rudolph. that happens in baseball. Ahead, Matt, Tim. Rudolph, Rudolph Giuliani was one of the most decorated, honored, revered <laughs> prosecutors in America. Look at the law. The law is not maybe should. It says interference occurs when a fan reaches out and touches the ball. Uh, on interference, on any interference, the ball is dead. No, wait, doesn't period. it doesn't also the say it's the simple, judgment clear. of the of Nothing the Nothing uh, to do with umpire. judgment. <laughs> His name was Garcia. Come on! Wait a it second. It was a home job. We Tim, were robbed. Tim, wait a second. Speaking of robbed, do you think this at the right fielder? What, who's the right fielder again? Tarasco. 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 He, the guy Tarasco. made no effort to jump for this ball. What was that? Ma Matt, the ball <laughs> was heading down. Even in the New York City public schools, they teach the law of gravity. Trust me. Hey, the Timmy, ball was. Usually, the ball doesn't usually what up. happens. Usually, what happens is the uh, athlete will make an attempt to catch the ball, and the athlete is always going to beat out a 12-year-old. You got to wonder about Tarasco. He made no attempt. Usually, always, when a guy is going into the stands after a ball, he's with much more vigor than the fan who's trying to catch it, and this guy made no attempt. Jim, Matt Lauer knows better than anyone a gimme putt. This is a gimme catch. <laughs> and let me show you, Matt, let me show you how bad it is. This kid has his tongue out. I mean, this is out. Yeah. And you know what, Tim? This morning, he really has his tongue out. Hey, listen. Actually, we, if he ran for mayor of New York City this morning, yeah? Ed Koch and I have both been children. <laughs> this kid would be mayor of New York City. Hey, Michael Tim. Jordan always has his tongue out. Tim, Hasn't hurt him. Tim, we want to invite you up because uh, Mayor Giuliani is planning a ticker tape parade for this young kid. <laughs> and we want you to be the guest of honor in the opening yeah. float. Can you make it? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> That's All a Bronx right. cheer. I think we understand how you feel about this, Mr. Russer. Thanks very much. Mayor Giuliani, thanks very much. Go Thank Yankees. Yes, Sorry absolutely. to the folks in Baltimore. <laughs> thanks for covering it for us, Jim. Thank I you, Appreciate man. it. We're going to take a break. There's much more ahead. This is today on NBC.